What's up sports fans, my name is Jake and welcome back to Game Day Eats. The NFL's Week 8 is baked to completion tonight with the New England Patriots heading over to face the Buffalo Bills on Monday Night Football. After tonight we are officially halfway through the season and that means that we are also halfway through our Monday Night Football games. This has been quite an experience so far and thank you for helping me be a better chef so my wife and friends can actually enjoy what I cook instead of faking that smile and saying mmm. Back to football, the New England Patriots are in town facing that hapless Buffalo Bills tonight. What isn't an Unfortunate is that we get to chow down on some traditional buffalo wings. Sit back and relax. This is Game Day Eats. This recipe is one that is really popular on the internet right now, especially with the health craze that's been in effect recently. The difference between these wings and the ones that you'd find at your local bar is that these are baked instead of fried. Both are crispy and this one won't destroy my stomach as much. On to the recipe, we're gonna start with two pounds of chicken wings, three quarter cups of flour, a half teaspoon of cayenne pepper, half teaspoon of garlic powder, a half teaspoon of salt, one cup of buffalo sauce, and we're going all in, so we're gonna add some sides of buttermilk ranch, celery, and carrots. This experience so far with Game Day Eats has shown me many sides to cooking, baking, frying, and any other verb that really describes culinary arts. The sauces made with Detroit, Chicago, Denver, and Green Bay were challenging because I was afraid of the flavors needed to make them go boom. It turns out following the recipe does wonders, plus it gives you some leftovers for you to get through the week. Here in Buffalo, I feel this is as game day as you can get. Wings, beer, and ranch create the atmosphere of tailgaters love. Here's where I'll mention to those of you that like blue cheese, that stuff is gross. It's literally spoiled and gone bad. Anyways, it seems that buffalo wings have always been a part of the tailgating experience and there's a reason why. They're easy to make, packed with protein, and absolutely delicious. The buffalo wing itself originated in the city of Buffalo, New York, if you couldn't have guessed it, at a restaurant called the Anchor Bar in the 1960s. What once started as bar food has since turned into a casual and even high-end dining dishes. And fun fact, more chicken wings and drums are used to make these delicious little dishes than any other preparation in the United States. Americans definitely love their wings. Our beer of choice comes from the Southern Tier Brewing Company, which is located just outside of Buffalo. The brewery was opened in 2001 by two dudes named Phoenix Demink and Alan Yon. Both names have a great potential for some jokes. This beer is called Eight Days a Week and is a blonde ale. Wings are crispy, beer is poured, sides are made, it's time to eat. Are you supposed to make eye contact when you're eating wings? The baked wings were much better than I anticipated because I thought it was gonna be a bigger difference between having them baked and having them fried, but these actually taste really good. Now let's see what's going on with eight days a week. Not much flavor on the forefront, but it really picks up as you go along. Well, that just might be the alcohol. Time to break down the pigskin. Our visiting team for this week's Monday Night Football is the New England Patriots, who seem to struggle the first three weeks of the season, but has since turned it around, as they always do. Tom Brady has surged since the two-week slump, where they had two losses in a row against the Jacksonville Jaguars and the Detroit Lions in weeks two and three. Since the struggle of those outliers, he has averaged 68% completion on his passes and thrown for three touchdowns and three out of the four games since. What is also scary is that he has thrown around 35 pass attempts five out of seven games this season. Belichick knows what he wants from his 40-year-old quarterback, and that is consistency. Looking at the defensive side of the ball, the Patriots are ranked 27th overall in the league for total defensive yards allowed. Normally that's because the team either allows too many passing or rushing yards, but in this case, both aspects are terrible, ranking 24th against the run and 26th against the pass. And this really got me thinking, are the Patriots as good as they are for as long as they have been because of the terrible division that they're in? The home team for week eight is the Buffalo Bills, and I don't have words to describe their offense this season, so let's take a look at how many points they put up on the board the whole season. And now last week. This Bills offense was expecting down the field destruction of defenses when they drafted Josh Allen, who had the strongest arm in this year's draft and could even challenge Patrick Mahomes for the strongest in the NFL right now, but that isn't what they got. Well, it also goes to the play calling and not allowing Allen to stretch the field, which could open up running lanes or even some drag routes by the wide receivers. Speaking of their wide receivers, can you even name the starting two? I couldn't, so I had to look it up. And in case you're wondering, it's Kelvin Benjamin, who used to play for the Carolina Panthers, and Zay Jones, who I still don't know who Zay Jones is. 
four weeks in a row, and this week is a gimme. There is no chance that the Bills can come away with a victory this week against the Patriots, so now it's all about getting the score just right. As we talked about earlier, the Patriots' defense has been garbage this season, and that has allowed an average of 25 points per game. However, the Buffalo's offense is even worse and only scored five points last week. I'm gonna say that the New England Patriots will beat the Buffalo Bills by a score of 28 to seven. I feel like I'm being generous with giving that touchdown and an extra point to the Bills, but Christmas lights are already going up, so I kinda have to be generous. Week eight is baked, so subscribe and watch next week as we head over to the Lone Star State when the Dallas Cowboys host the Tennessee Titans and we make fried chicken steak fingers, which is kinda like chicken fingers, but it's cow. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the field.